crazy yeah. when the word gets out that concrete's being poured then there's like a bunch of ravenous beasts that just show up and are ready to work i'm amazed at how many talented and stoked people there are about this place My parents used to own a concrete foundation company and just had always wanted to do something out here and finally got the spark to move up and get going. I've always been fascinated with concrete and over the years slowly started playing with DIY spots and renegade quarter pipe builds and knew that this was going to be a huge task in which I have absolutely no idea what I'm really doing. So it's been about four years of work now. We're super lucky to have a huge group of skaters, BMXers. I have tons of friends in the skate park industry and just people knowledgeable and also people that are just super willing to learn and figure it out. And I am too. We have group build days pretty often and my family is heavily invested. They also come out and help. We have a great thing going on here. Tons of people involved. Too many people to even begin to list young kids who are coming out here and learning how to finish and learning how to ride. I mean, we're, we're just trying to make it as inclusive as we can for everyone. And from the building stage to the riding stage, from the very early stages of laying cinder blocks and building walls, just learn the, the process of the timing and the patience of what it takes to finish concrete. So I will admit that I jumped into this very eagerly. Um, without really too much planning or forethought. Just kind of started throwing dirt against the wall, figured it out as we went. There's certainly been a lot of working backwards to go forwards, tons of lessons learned and pretty crucial mistakes made. But in the end, we tear it down and start over and get it right. Even all the imperfections and places where we messed up are like my favorite spots now. It's what makes it so beautiful. It's it's what makes it ours. I've seen throughout every pour how much better and smoother and just like more dialed our process has gotten. And it just gets me so stoked to like see what's to come because we're only getting better and the crew is just growing all the time. I mean, I'm amazed at just how many people that we have brought out of the woodwork and like this guy, Ron L. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. See you. Hell yeah. Most of the fundraising has been all through t-shirts that I print here. We have a bunch of cool designs and we just actually had an art contest where I was blown away with all the submissions and people that are like stoked to help contribute and the shirts have really pushed us through this whole thing and continue to so I have to thank anyone who's already bought stuff from us. Half the fun for me is printing the shirts too. I love seeing people wear them out and about. It makes me super happy to see that. People buy shirts from like Germany and England and Australia and it's just amazing to think that like I've got DIY spots that I can go hit there too and we've got that currency that we can share with each other. It's like the best thing that you could possibly trade. <laughs> like, there's certainly been just as many setbacks as there has been triumphs. We've had major delays with concrete trucks showing up and walls collapsing that we're pouring and just... A lot of uh, mistakes. So we jackhammered a hip out and rebuilt it. Literally every time we pour, there's some sort of natural disaster or a catastrophe that happens right before. And right when we think it's not going to happen, we just say, fuck it and do it anyways. And it always works out every time. And people always show up. There's always more than enough people here. Like, I started out doing this whole thing with no real sight of how it was going to end up or who was going to help. I didn't even care if anyone helped me. I was just going to start doing it. I knew that as soon as we got the ball rolling, it was going to just catch on. And You're going to bring old people out who like used to ride. They're going to get back in and be hooked again. And you're going to nurture young kids up to just be cool and like work hard and just teach them that it's more than just like going out and trying to get famous or something like that. It's about taking care of where you're at, making it cool. We're gonna be building like crazy. We're about to move a bunch of dirt and start working on phase two and just keep going. Like the momentum is high and 
we can't like slow down because we've got good people. I mean, just it grows all the time. Like we've got another guy, Matt, that just showed up who just moved to the area. <laughs> I mean, you can tell this dude can shovel. <laughs> yeah, we poured one flat bottom and uh, it was raining the whole morning leading up to it. And everyone kept asking me if I was going to do it. And we poured in the rain anyways. And uh, we pretty much got it all filled in and we were about to start finishing. And our good buddy Ron showed up and walked right through the concrete. <laughs> and then it wasn't a couple hours later and I walked through the concrete. <laughs> and then the foreman Trevor out here, who's like the real concrete expert, he was a little mad that we kept walking through the concrete, but maybe an hour later, he walked through the concrete too. <laughs> there has been like a severe lack of good concrete stuff to ride around here. And it's just so amazing to finally have a place where we can just come ride every day and not even have to think twice about it or drive two hours or, you know, be at a crowded skate park. Nothing else compares to like riding stuff that you build. I mean, I, it's like the most cliche thing, but it's true. You know what you're going to get when you go to a skate park. And it's so amazing to be able to come out here and just hide and just hang out with our crew and just have our time and our space and just not have to answer to anyone and just do whatever we want. If you really want to see something through, then you can do it. You just got to believe in it. Even if it starts getting hard, and you have no clue what's going on. Just try anyways. You'll figure it out. And if you don't, it'll still be sick. So you're still going to have something good to ride.